How you been, Jordan? You know, Richard, I'm living the dream, man. I'm here at the Daytona International Speedway. Um, and everyone else is here. We got a lot of good dudes in this practice, like Tim Fox, Bill Walker, KC Wood, Timothy Collins, Jesus Beltran, Clint Fisher, Andy Hawley, Paul Sprague, Elliot Huffman, Leroy Mercer. Anybody want to get a pit party going at the end of pit road? Hey, my good. Sounds good. Sounds good, Jordan. Getting some tires right now. Uh, we're going to get that pit party lined up at the end of pit road. Get as many trucks as we can here at the Daytona International Speedway tonight. Lining up at the end of pit road. You guys pulling out yet or not yet? I never pull out. I ain't lifting. Yeah, that's why I got three kids. A wife, man. All right, everybody, line them up at the end of pit road. Going to get this pit party going. Troy DeMay is going to be there in the Mick Bolton, number 22. He's ready to go. Leroy Mercer is going to be there in the number 38. Brian Conover, KC Wood, Robert Tierney, Timothy Collins. Pulling out. We're going to go in about 10 more seconds. Oh, you know what? They're, uh, they're already going. We're going to get that thing rolling. Timothy Collins is going to lead him there in the apron of the racetrack. He's going to pace at about 52 miles an hour on the apron. And he'll be your pole sitter for this two and a half lap pit party. Robert Tierney is going to start second. KC Wood's going to go third. Leroy Mercer fourth. Brian Conover is going to start fifth. Troy DeMay in the midfield number 22. He's going to be sixth. Here comes Richard Palmasano in the 56. He wants to get part of this. But the field is going to be in the hands of the iconic 218 of Timothy Collins. And the green flag is out. We're racing at Daytona. Collins is on it. Robert Kearney in the number 20. Not a great start. He's getting help from KC Wood, though, in the Hershey's number 12. Leroy Mercer back to fourth. Brian Conover, Troy DeMay, and Richard Palmasano down the back straightaway. Here comes Robert Kearney. Big run into turn number three. He looks to the outside for the race lead. Collins does not block it. And Robert Kearney to the point in the number 20. Here comes KC Wood, though, in the Hershey's number 12. He'll roll to second. And Timothy Collins back to third, but here comes the rest of the pack. It's going to be Mercer, Conover, DeMay, and Paul Mastano trying to catch up with two to go. And Robert Tierney leaves it. They'll climb the west banking, but they're still single file. But here comes that second group, led by Leroy Mercer. He climbs the hill of the west banking in the number 38. Big push from Brian Conover. Collins tries to block it. Mercer gets turned. There goes Leroy Mercer around in turn two. He's the only truck involved. Palmasano got a piece of it, but he's going to keep on trucking. With a lap and a half to go, Collins threw a big block. He still holds on to third. He's got a big run now. Maybe he's thinking about taking second. No, he'll stay in line going into turn number three. Six trucks have a chance to win it. Robert Tierney's going to lead him out of turn number four. He's got help from the KC Wood campaign and the Hershey's number 12. The white flag is going to be up. Here goes Timothy Collins. He looks to the outside, but he thought better of it. He'll get back in line, but here comes Troy DeMay. He's going to hook Collins into the wall. Collins does it, trying to throw another block. DeMay was having none of that. Here goes Casey Wood to the outside. He'll draw even for the lead. Troy DeMay is going to give a big shot there in the middle of the corner. DeMay tries to split the difference. Think about going three wide, and there is room, and Troy DeMay up the middle. Big push from Brian Conover and Troy DeMay. To the lead down the back straight away. Conover gets clear as well. What will Brian Conover do in the number 97? There's some lap traffic here in front of him. DeMay goes to the outside. Conover follows. Troy DeMay in the middle of ultra number 22. Going to try to hold everybody off. Here comes Brian Conover. Casey Wood goes to the bottom. DeMay is going to try to block everybody. He puts Conover in the wall, and that's going to let KC Wood in the iconic Hershey's number 12. He'll win the pit party at Daytona. Dude, thanks for your commentary, man. That was great. Yeah, do you do that professionally? Because you need to be doing that if you're not. 
I used to work at the New Smyrna Speedway, which is about 15 minutes south of this racetrack, the Daytona International Speedway. Okay, gentlemen, let's get one more pit party here lined up at the end of pit road. America! Went down to New Smyrna in February for Speed Weeks. You know what, Timothy? I might show up. If I'm not banned from the premises, I'll be there at the New Smyrna Speedway. Jordan, you just made all night, man. That was great. Well, Brandon, the pleasure's all on this side of the table. Thanks for showing up. And thanks for showing up here for pit party number two. Timothy Collins is going to be your pole sitter once again. What about Zach Lawson? He'll be there in the number 17. Richard Palmasano is back and better than ever in the number 56. Clint Fisher in the Oreo, number 15. Here comes Lee Roy Mercer trying to get involved as well as Dean Gallison in the number 35. All right, gentlemen, we're going to have two and a half laps once again here at the Daytona International Speedway located in Daytona Beach. It's not false advertising. They really do tell you where the track actually is, unlike some of these racetracks. Timothy Collins was the pole sitter for the last one. He just couldn't quite get back to the front, though, and they ganged up on him going into turn number three. And he will be on the pedal, and the green flag is out once again at Daytona for two and a half laps. It's Collins, Lawson, Paul Masano, Clint Fisher, Leroy Mercer, Dean Gallison in the number 35. Here goes Zach Lawson, wasting no time. He'll go to the outside of the number 17. But Collins has the bottom, and he has help from Palmasano. No, Palmasano goes to the outside with Lawson. Richard Palmasano is going to push Zach Lawson to the race lead off of the East Banking. And the unsponsored number 17 and the unsponsored number 56 are going to link up here, and they're both clear. Ooh, Palmasano almost took Lawson coming to two to go there. He'll get in line right behind him. Collins back to third once again, just like race number one. Here comes the second pack, Clint Fisher. A huge run into turn number one in the Oreo machine. Where's he going to go with it? He looks to the outside. Collins does not throw that block. He'll go back to the bottom. Clint Fisher to the outside. Here comes Blue Roy Mercer as well as Dean Gallison gets involved. He'll cut to the bottom in the number 35. Fisher is thinking about, oh, he's going to hook Collins. There goes Collins in the 218. He saves it. But he's going to lose the draft there in the grass, which is no longer grass in real life. It's all pavement. Coming to the white flag, it's still going to be Zach Lawson with Richard Palmasano right behind him in the unsponsored number 56. But here comes the Oreo machine of Clint Fisher with a monster runoff turn number four. Some lap traffic on the outside. Set this to Jesus Beltran entry as the white flag is up. Here goes Fisher. Not a lot of help, but he's going to try the outside anyway. Oh, lap traffic in front of him is going to take out the leader. Zach Watson, nowhere to go, hit the lap truck, he's out of it. The new leader is Richard Palmasano in the number 56. He's got three kids, he really needs to win this race. He has put Fisher all over him, though, like a cheap suit. Fisher looks to the bottom, Palmasano can't block that. Little contact down the back shortaway, there goes Palmasano around. That'll give the lead to Dean Gallison. Wow, the number 35 to the back to the front. But here comes Leroy Mercer. He gains momentum in turn four. He looks to the outside. Gallison's going to block him. Mercer's going to get to the outside. Gallison can't block that. It's the Gallison and Mercer machine. Side by side coming to the line. Is it going to be Gallison? I think it's going to be Mercer. It is. Leroy Mercer wins pit party number two at Daytona.